decided to boat show. As you know, at the boat show, we know no limits. We've already tried the smaller Suzukino dinghy, which was a mere two meters long on the show. And now, here's the biggest one. Presenting the MSC Preziosa, 333 meters long, which is like the size of three football fields. It's 38 meters wide, which is like a motorway that has 13 lanes, and it is 68 meters high. And we're off on our voyage of today through the inside of this cruise ship. We aren't here to show you the usual attraction and ballrooms though. No, we're going to have a look around the more unknown and secret hideaways of the boat. We're starting off on the bridge, which means going up 13 of the 18 decks and a long walk towards the bow. With its 1,751 cabins, this boat can host 4,345 passengers and needs 1,390 crew members. All in all, that's a mere 5,735 people. Right, and here we are on the bridge, the command centre, and just look how big it is. One of the most intricate points of sailing this ship is getting it out of the port, and I'm not using this term just for effect. The command bridge is 50 metres long and has these areas suspended on nothing, which are called the wings, from which you can see everything perfectly. As for the stern, there are cameras for that. Good morning, Captain. Good morning to you. Yes, it is a good morning. Thank you so much for letting us on the command bridge of the MSC Preciosa. It's not easy to come on board this boat and get it into this area. We don't let anyone on, you know. Of course, we are happy to do it, but one has to be very attentive on the command bridge. The weather is incredibly important for navigation of a cruise ship, right? Yes, it is very important. For example, we're in Genova today and tomorrow we're going to cross the Gulf of Lyon. If I can see that there is going to be bad weather, I could decide to take a different route to normal, sticking more to the coast, for example, so the passengers have a calmer voyage. What qualities does a captain on a cruise ship this side need to have? Charisma, courage and culture. And what, in your opinion, is the best moment for a captain? The greatest moment is when you manage to do something particular. We don't just look after the details, but the details of the details. This is how our crew are trained to be towards the passengers, and it ensures great results. Well, thank you very much, Captain. We are now going to continue on with our journey inside the ship. So how does the MSC Preziosa go? Second official Francesco Russo, what are you looking at on this monitor whilst you are navigating? These monitors give us every chance to see all the other boats around us. The system calculates distance and position of the boats, speed and route, and how long it will take before we meet. So where are we right now? We're in Genova, in the port, and we are moored exactly at the Ponte di Miglie, where the cruising passengers come aboard. Exactly. And then on this other screen we can see other things like boarding, boats that are around us. They are these triangles here. The whole boat is controlled from the bridge. Just think, even the cabin temperatures are controlled from there. It's all linked by sensors, and there are 1,800 kilometers of electric cable on this boat to keep everything alight. This is the GMDSS station, a radio system dedicated to the security of the boat. The weather conditions are on this one, and you can communicate via satellite or long distance with MF, HF, and there's even a VHF. Genova Radio, Genova Radio, da MSC Genova Radio, Genova Radio from MSC Preziosa, MSC Preziosa. Testing, testing. Thank you. L'energia elettrica è una risorsa fondamentale per la nave e per i suoi divertimenti. Preziosa ha un parco. Electrics are a crucial resource for the ship and for its entertainment. 
Preciosa has a 120-metre aquatic park, a spa area, four swimming pools, 26 lifts, nine restaurants, including the slow food-inspired Italy, a buffet that's open 20 hours out of 24, a theatre with 1,600 seats, a casino, a conference room, and a private area at the bow with some very exclusive luxury suites, restaurant and swimming pool. Oh, just the spa area is 1,700 square metres itself. Think of the pumps, machines, kitchens, cleaners, fridges, freezers, ovens, computers, televisions, the electric currents that goes to the cinema and the theatres. Then they're supplying electric for all the lights. There are 66,000 light bulbs. If you've used an average household bulb that lasts 1,000 hours more or less, you'd be changing a light bulb every 54 seconds. Just think, that would be a squad of technicians running from one part of the boat to the other just to change them. If you think about it, this boat is a little like a living and breathing country, a city capable of living autonomously. Massimo Lazzari is the food and beverage manager on board. I saw trucks arriving below deck to restock the boat like it was some huge supermarket. I can't even manage my own pantry. How do you manage to keep this one afloat? We have our own system that all the boats in the fleet follow. Not just for this one, where we input what remains at the end of the cruise. After the requisitions that happen day after day in our kitchen, all the orders are in there. It's a system that organizes all the work in a very detailed manner. Every product on the boat, where and to which kitchen it needs to be delivered. Loading up here in Genova, I see that nearly everything is produced in Italy. The fridges have a capacity of 290,000 litres, the freezers 107,000 litres, the equivalent, let's say, of 15,000 domestic fridges. Ciro Agostino is the executive chef. Ciro, how many meals do you make every day? 18,000. How do you know what your guests are going to want to eat? We have an electronic meal count system that calculates according to what nationalities we have on board. For example, the Italians eat more pasta. 150 kilos of the stuff will go in a day. Again, according to nationalities, there are Indonesians, Filipinos, Hondurans, Indians, and there are all the calorie counting dishes. And what if someone has a particular dietary request? It will always be catered for. That's what we're here for. But how do you know? A week prior to setting sail, we receive a notice from the same company that says next week there will be pasta intolerance and X and Y numbers don't eat garlic or onions, whatever. There's a bakery too. Yep, even a bakery. What sort of cakes do you make? On average, we make about 50 different types of cake. Then there's the buffet, where there can be up to 100 different types of cake throughout the course of one week. And if everyone wanted a big spaghetti night, how many kilos of pasta would you need? For 4,500 people, you'd need 180 kilos of pasta. This is the machine room of the MSC Preciosa. 140,000 displacement tons, the equivalent weight of 10,000 yachts or 100,000 motorboats. On a pleasure boat, the weight-power ratio varies from 10 to 20 kilos per horsepower. If the same metrics had been used on this boat, it would have needed the equivalent of 10 million horsepower. But the engine here is a cover team GE, which means it's only 29,700 horsepower. There are two of them, which means they have saved 9,940,000 horsepower. These figures aren't easy to decipher, but I can tell you that the International Classification Society, Bureau Veritas, has awarded the MSC Preziosa seven golden pearls, an important recognition for its efforts in energy efficiency and its eye to the environment.
And of course, even the speeds are different. An outboard will get up to 5,500 to 6,000 RPM in minutes. A 2,000 horsepower yacht engine can get to 2,400 RPM. These electric motors rotate at 140 RPM. Though, with this rhythm listen, the propulsion engines are electric and induction, new generation, and were chosen because they are so silent and hardly vibrate. Factors that make the levels of comfort higher for passengers, who usually aren't used to relaxing somewhere where the tables are constantly vibrating. There is such a huge difference between old and new cruise ships. MSC is truly gigantic. This desalinator produces 1,000 tonnes of fresh water every day. And a little less glamorous but important just the same is the purifier. All the wastewater is treated and leaves the boat bacteria free. But who supplies this enormous amount of electrical energy to the engines and the rest of the boat? On board there are five current generators, all Wartzilla diesel engines, two 16-cylinders and three 12-cylinders that altogether produce seven megawatts of energy. Through these inspection holes you can get into the engines. Here, for example, the connecting rods can be checked. Right now we're at the lowest point of the boat, under the waterline. This is the shaft that gets the movement of the engine to turn the propulsion propellers. To manoeuvre there are six engines, each one 4,500 horsepower, four above the bow and two at the stern. Altogether their power is just the same as one of the propulsion engines. MSC Preziosa is one of the most recent and beautiful cruise ships. The desire on board for pleasure and comfort is satisfied in every way. But we have also seen how the MSC Preziosa is a, an extraordinary example of naval design that is capable of going all across the world energy efficiently and with an eye to the environment. We are going to finish our journey inside this ship exactly as it begins its cruise from the port of Genova.